Good morning. Welcome to Grace for today. Blessings, everybody. God bless you. We're going to give you all a couple of moments. And we're going to get started with our teaching for today. We are grateful for all that the Lord has done and for what he is doing. God bless everybody. Today is, um, we're getting close to the end of January and we are thankful. God is faithful. God bless you. Hey, everybody. Thankful. Don't forget to share as soon as you come on. And, uh, oh, let me do this. I forgot. Hey, Deandra. Good morning, Sylvia Green. Good morning, Pamela Gadsden. Hey, Sister Heather. Hey, everybody. We are so thankful. I am expecting, I told y'all, Prashia, heal your song. I'm expecting great things. Always looms large in my ears. I'm expecting. Good morning, Journey with Jesus people. See y'all in the morning. I hope you're showing up. If not, I'll be there. And I know at least one or two people will be there. And if they're there, we're going to just worship the Lord. We're going to teach a little bit. We're going to worship a little bit. And um, we're going to do what we do. And we're going on to the next thing. Amen, amen, and amen. So blessings to all of you. And I uh, hope to see you in the morning at 11 a.m. And some of you have inboxed me saying, you know, I can't be there. But and I said, that's all right. Uh, do what you can. And uh, hopefully you'll join us next time. But God bless everybody next Saturday. Absolutely. Hey, Sister Heather, I'm glad you're going to be there. Because, you know, we, all right. So God bless everybody tomorrow, 11 a.m. Journey with Jesus. Y'all join us if you can. And, um... So we will be there, Lord willing. So yes, indeed. And um, if you were with Journey with Jesus and you happen to leave your your um, your journal at the last meeting, would you let me know? Uh, we'll have it tomorrow. All right. New day and new grace to all. Absolutely, Elder Ingram. Blessings to you. Today we're starting our new little. Didn't I start a new series? Right, I did. Right, right. Didn't I? <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. So today we're starting. Uh, our new series, and today we're talking about a promise of guidance. The Lord promises to guide us. He promises. Good morning, Mother Austin. Hey, Mother Austin. Blessings to you. Uh, he promises to guide us. You know, everybody wants direction. And some people don't want to wait for direction. They want it now. Good morning, Ashley Reed. Hey, Cassandra Haynes, they want direction now. You know that, that, that commercial, it's my money, I want it now. All right, but God promises direction. He said, my sheep hear my voice. What is that? That's direction. His sheep are listening for his voice. Another's voice that he, they will not follow, which means there are other voices in this world. There are other voices that are vying for his sheep's ears. There are many voices trying to get your attention. But his sheep only listen to his voice. We need to, we must learn to hear his voice. There's, it is said, I don't have any sheep. I live in the city. Well, in Mississippi, it's the country still, but it's, good morning, Sister Rashida. Good morning, Lady Dorothy Washington Jefferson. Blessings. We, we, we must realize, it, we, I don't have any sheep, but when I read about sheep and about herders and sheep herders and, and those who have sheep, they, in the Middle East and places like East, they have sheep and they put all their sheep together in these, these pens. And all the shepherds, they will open the gate and they will each call their sheep. The only sheep that come are the ones that belong to that shepherd. The other sheep remain in the pen. They don't go because that's not their shepherd. That's not their shepherd. His sheep hear his voice. 
Help us to hear the voice of God. Help us to know our shepherd. The Psalm 23, the beloved Psalm that everybody loves. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. David knew something about sheep. He understood shepherding. He might not have understood everything, but he understood shepherding. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. And when we understand exactly, Elder Ingram, and I know his voice. Every other voice, I don't listen to that. I don't believe that. I don't hear that. I discount that. I don't follow that voice. Because I follow his voice because he leads me in a safe place. He's my shepherd. He guides me. When I know Psalm 23 is not the scripture I put on there. But I'm just saying, when we talk about guidance, his sheep follow him. When a sheep decides he's going to be a renegade, the shepherd leaves the 99, y'all know the story, and he goes in search of the one. When he finds that sheep that was the renegade, the one who decided to veer off somewhere by himself, he takes that sheep in his, that in his arms and he breaks his leg so that sheep then has to stay with the shepherd. You know, the Lord woke me up. I'm going to put a pen right there. I'm going to develop this, but the Lord woke me up the other night and he said, I don't have my notes with me, but he said, there's something about touch. T-O-U-C-H. We, when we touch, we develop an, an, an attachment to. Which is why the scripture says that it's better for a man not to touch a woman. He told Mary, don't touch me. Because something is imparted when we touch. So when that sheep has to be, has to touch and stay with the shepherd. He becomes connected to him. He learns to hear his voice. That's why babies typically develop. They know. I, I remember seeing this video of this baby hearing his mother singing to him and the baby could not talk, but the baby heard his mama singing and starts crying because I believe there's such a connection developed between the baby in the womb and the baby hearing his mother singing that there is such a connection that the baby cries because it recalls the connection that's touching that's beyond mere words. There is a connection that is developed. And so when that sheep hears his shepherd's voice, it cannot go except it is the shepherd that it is connected to. That's why we know our shepherd's voice. Some of us are going and following shepherds. Well, it's not our shepherd. That's not your shepherd. That's not your shepherd. You're going everywhere hearing everybody else. That's not your shepherd. That's not your shepherd. You want to hear quick words. You want to hear tingling words. You want to hear what tingles your ear, what makes your soul feel good. But that's not your shepherd. What do you tell Peter? Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my lambs. We have to be the ones who want to hear our shepherd. I got to talk about guidance. I got five minutes. Talk about guidance. Because he said in his word, he's clear, his sheep are going to hear him. 
Sometimes people who don't hear God, y'all wonder why folk don't hear God? Because they're not his sheep. I know where they go to church. I know they speak in tongues. I know they run around the floor. I know they get up and give a great testimony. That don't mean they're his sheep. He said, my sheep obey me. They hear me. They hear me. Let me read you a scripture. So y'all, I'm going to read a scripture. Isaiah chapter 30. That's where I am today. All right. Let me read. I'm trying to read a scripture to y'all. And thine ear, Isaiah 30 and 21. That's where I'm going to read today. We're praying for my friends. This is Sandra Wansley. She lost her aunt and we're praying for her. She's gone. Uh, to, to, she's transitioned to be with the Lord. We're praying for her family. I just want to insert that. She's been faithful to grace for today. Thine ears, Isaiah 30, 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. I wanted to read from a mama's old Bible, the, this passage uh, surrounding that verse. So we'll have context. I wanted, I wanted to read this. I wanted to read this. Hmm. People of God, I just, the Lord will speak to folk who hear him. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear. You ain't got to make up nothing. He opens my ear to hear. He, he speaks to folk who will hear him. He speaks to folk. I know. I know I, that's incorrect grammar. I know it. Ex Lady Lisa, a stranger they will not, they will not follow. They're not going to follow. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We following everything. That's why the Bible says they're going to follow. They're going to follow. They're going to heap into themselves teaching, having itching ears. They just want to hear something. They're like the folk in the Bible. They want to hear a new thing. Baby, be careful of that new stuff you're trying to listen to. You better stick with the word of God. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Let me look at verse 19. Oh, my people, I got to go. Good morning, Pastor Jameson. Oh, my people in Jerusalem, you shall weep no more, for he will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. He will answer you. Though he give you the bread of adversity and water of affliction, yet he will be with you to teach you. With your own eyes, you will see your teacher. And if you will leave God's paths and go astray, you will hear a voice behind you, behind you say, no, this is the way. Walk here. And you will destroy all your silver idols and golden images and cast them out like filthy things you hate. And you hate things you hate to touch. Ugh, you will say to them, be gone. When you love God more, you'll get rid of all those other things. You will want God more. You will sanctify yourself. You will purify yourself. I need you more. More than yesterday. I need you more. More than words can say. I need you more than ever before. I need you more. I need you more. More than the air I breathe. He says, you, when you decide, you're going to hear a voice saying, don't, don't go that way. Don't go that way. This is the way. Go this way. Hey there, what can you pray? You're going to say, don't go that way. Go this way. You're going to get rid of all those filthy things. Uh, he's going to gu guidance is this. 
Don't go that way. Go this way. Go this way. He said, you're going to hear my voice. You're going to hear a voice saying, go this way. He promises to guide us. It's a promise. God keeps his promises. He speaks to those who guide, who listen. And the more you listen, the more he'll guide you. So then he'll speak to me. Yes, he will speak to you. You're, you're looking for something extraordinary. He speaks to us. He orders our steps. Sometimes it's the simplest things. Sometimes it's the things you said you weren't going to do and you wake up and realize he ordered my steps into something I didn't even know I needed. He orders our steps. It's guidance. It's direction. I got to go. My time's gone. Listen, I got to go. Listen, he, Sister Gwen, he is a promise keeper. This is our season of promises. It's our season of promises. Listen, beloved, let's start expecting God to keep his promises. Listen, God is speaking so much. I have been writing and writing and writing so many things God is just saying to tell his people. My job is to disseminate what he is saying, and I'm going to do my very best to give you everything he says. The Lord tells me, stop giving people crumbs. So I'm trying to give you all the meat I can so you will be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might to accomplish everything you are called to do. Be strong in the Lord. You can do it. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much. For all the things you've promised in your word, you are a promise keeper. Help us to take advantage of every promise in your word. Help us to receive everything you promise and help us to go in strength and conquer. You are more than enough. Whatever season we're in, we know this is a season of promise. Father, cover us. Cover our homes, cover our children, cover our spouses, cover us, dear God, that we will receive everything you have. Protect us from every device, every plot, every ploy of the adversary. We thank you, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us will produce what the enemy intended. We stand against it. We thank you in advance that your word is working even now. Glory to God. Your word is working right now in us. Work through us. Lord God, help us to have strength to receive and to bring forth everything you've promised. Be our healer. Give us a speedy recovery. Peace in our minds. Redeem our lives from destruction. Restore the years. And do it for your glory. Give us testimonies. Give us testimonies. For your glory, God. We're your sons and your daughters. Hey, oh, bless God. We are your sons and your daughters. Show yourself mighty for us. Let your hand be great upon us. And we receive it even now. We lack nothing. Bring it to us and let us be good stewards. In Jesus' name, so it is. Amen. I got to go. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to our great God. What a mighty God we serve. I got to go. I got to go. Listen, today is the Lord's day. Not just Sunday. Every day is his day. So give him today. Give him today. God bless everybody. I got to go. Listen, don't forget to pray for somebody else. Call their name. You ain't have to know all their business. Call their name. The Lord drop you them in your spirit. Pray for them. Pray for them what you want to happen in your life. Or what you believe God wants to do in their lives. Pray blessings on somebody. Pray blessings on your enemies. 
Yes, indeed. Bless them that curse you. I believe that. All right, I got to go. Listen, share the video, type in, catch the replay, hashtag graced for today. And don't forget tomorrow, 11 a.m., uh, it's not going to be on Facebook because it's my turn, my time. I pro What I believe the Lord has called me to do as well is to help everybody, those who can, who are in Hattiesburg or the around surrounding areas, to help you develop a deeper walk with the Lord. And who wants to come, if you want to travel, some of you do. I was surprised, but you came 11 o'clock tomorrow, 422 William Street. I think that's right. Um, Journey with Jesus. And uh, I'm going to debut our t-shirts. Yay. And uh, someone's already ordered some. And uh, I'll have some with me in Yazoo City on February the 10th at 10 a.m. at uh, Sassy Designs Boutique on Jerry Clower. Hope you'll join me there. If you're in the neck, in that neck of the woods, uh, join me. I'll be there with a few people who will be traveling with me, hopefully. And we'll have some refreshments. We'll hang out a little bit, do a little teaching, take some photos, and um, have a little fellowship. If you're there, come on over and hang out with us for a bit. February the 10th, 10 a.m. And then the fourth Sunday in March, we'll be at Wings of Deliverance in Laurel, Mississippi, and Hattiesburg from Jackson. Uh, an hour and a half, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. We're coming through Jackson. Yes, we are. Uh, of course, so we're about an hour and a half from Jackson, but uh, but yes, we'll be coming straight through there going to Yazoo and but yeah, come on up Come on over. You come down Janet if you'd like come on over. Yes, indeed And um, but yeah, that's what our itinerary so far and then in May, I think it is we're coming to Canton I don't have the, all the details yet, but we'll be in Canton in May Canton, Mississippi so that's all I got so far. I've got a few other places that I'm going to call some folks because they won't call me. So I'm going to call them and tell them I want to come to your city. All right. Well, Brandy, I'm, ex I'm, I'm hoping so. Absolutely. So y'all pray for us. Pray for us. There are things I want to do that are in my heart to do. And listen, y'all may say, well, you know, that don't sound like the Lord. Listen, the Bible tells, told, said the disciples went everywhere. The only time they didn't go somewhere is where the Lord said, don't go. So he ain't told me don't go. So I'm just going wherever he has opened the door, but I'm going where I think I need to go. And that's what I'm doing. So that's it. All right. The door opens. Unless he says, don't go, I'm going. And I'm going to do some call. I'm going to call folks. Hey, I want to come to your city. Give me a location. Tell me where I can go. I don't need your money. I just need a low plate location. I will come to Maryland, Roy Kinsha. I sure will. Okay. I'm sorry for being loud. Y'all pray for me. I know how to act. I won't embarrass you. I promise. I won't. I know how to behave. Okay, y'all, I got to go. I got an appointment. So share the video and uh, I'll upload it to YouTube, YouTube in just a moment. And um, in the morning, I do have a Dorothy Green. You know it, don't you? I sure do. I am ready. I sure am. Y'all pray for me. All right. So I got to have some, I got to get my voice right. This has been, a, this, that we've had church every night, every, every day except Sunday has been Wednesday because we've had prayer every night for the last almost since since the 9th of January. So it's been a little stressful on my body, but you know, the Lord has been good to us. He has blessed us. So tonight, of course, six o'clock, we'll be in prayer again. Y'all get a chance to join us on Facebook. I share it on my page as well as on Grace for Today. But join us in prayer. God has blessed us. He's blessed us. Y'all pray for us. All right, see y'all tomorrow, Sunday morning, 9 a.m., Sunday school. All right. God bless y'all. For those who I don't see, see you Monday morning at 7.15 a.m. Central Time. We will have uh, grace for today again. Until then, God bless you. Have a good weekend. Pray for someone else. Pray for me. My name is Edna Gray Jameson. God bless you. Peace. Oh, until then, remember this. Time spent in the Word of God is never wasted. And you have been graced for today. Have a great day, everybody. Have a good weekend. Peace.